<laughs> den oplevelse ville jeg, ikke, den ville jeg ikke være fuget, om folk så tilbød mig 100 millioner. Så vil jeg sige nej tak. Jeg vil hellere have den oplevelse. <laughs> So in terms of, of, of finding a moment where you, you know, you really realize something amazing, um, those are the, they happen, I think, a few times in a person's career, if you're lucky, you know, most of the time science is a grind. Og selvfølgelig får man aha-oplevelser. Der kan godt være langt imellem, man får sine aha-oplevelser, men det er som regel en eller anden eftermiddag, hvor man sidder på sit kultur, og pludselig kommer der en ind med nogle nye resultater, og man sidder og kigger på dem. I had been looking at uh, a record, a sediment record, from a Scandinavian fjord, from a fjord in, in Sweden, and we kept seeing this uh, species in our under the microscope. We kept seeing this species that I didn't really know what it was. And then I was uh, sleeping, and suddenly I dreamt of a really old paper, an article that I had read years back, and in that article there was a, a picture of that same species that I had been seeing. So when I woke up, I I knew immediately. <laughs> I knew immediately what it was, and it was very funny because it was as if I had revealed, you know, the solution to myself, but unconsciously. And I think that's why a lot of people are scientists is exactly for that moment of, you know, my God, all of this just works for no reason. It just seems to fall into place, and everything is like a jigsaw puzzle. Og det er en fantastisk oplevelse, den her med, oh, jamen, sådan hænger det sammen. 